Hello everybody, Silver Picker here, and today I have a nice little haul to share with you guys. Now, I just got back from meeting this guy in a supermarket parking lot. Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. Why don't I show you what I got and then I'll tell you the story. Alright, so this is exactly what happened. So I was on Craigslist and I saw a really nondescript ad that said a guy had cleaned out an old house and had a bunch of antiques. Sent him a message, asked him if he had any coins, and he said he did have some and that he was actually in his car with them and if I would meet him at the supermarket that he was at, he would let me uh, take a look at them. So I didn't want to pass up the opportunity, so I drove out to the supermarket and we met in the parking lot and I saw what he had. Now he had a whole bunch of other stuff too, a lot of uncirculated sets from the 70s, but I wasn't really interested in them and I couldn't afford to pay him much more than face value, so I told him just to keep that stuff. But here's the stuff that I ended up buying. So I got a 1999 state quarter proof set, two Susan B. Anthony proof coins from 1999, a French silver coin, a silver round from Mardi Gras, a 1914 Finnish coin, and a little bit outside my comfort zone, three Corgi Toys die cast scale models of classic cars. So why don't I dive into each one of them and I'll tell you what I paid for the whole lot. All right, so first up we have this 1999 state quarter proof set. Now, you've seen me get these before, it's nothing too special, but basically it's the first five state quarters uh, with a mirror-proof finish. Nothing special, but if you do have an album where you collect the state quarters, you can crack these out and it'll make them look so much nicer than the circulated ones. So anyway, worth about five bucks, and we'll move on to the next thing. So next up are these Susan B. Anthony proof coins. Now, you guys know that I'm all about silver and I'm not much for these clad coins, but I must say these are absolutely beautiful. I mean, each one comes with a nice little box, a COA, and inside the box, of course, is the beautiful encapsulated coin. Yeah, take a look at that coin. That coin is absolutely spectacular. Look at that finish, that detail. You take a look over here on the back. So what I actually decided I'm gonna do is I'm going to pop this out and I'm gonna put it in my own typeset. Kind of give my typeset a little bit of a facelift. What's currently in there is just a circulated Susan B. Anthony. So I think this would be a really, really nice way to spruce things up. Each one of these is worth 20 bucks. So I think I did pretty well. Uh, the other one, of course, will be available for anybody to purchase. All right, on to the next. All right, next up we have some French commemorative silver. Really, really nice little box it comes in. Of course, has a nice little COA and of course, the coin itself. Now, this coin is a 100 franc commemorative and it commemorates uh, the Louvre Museum in Paris. Really beautiful coin design, very, very intricate, and uh, this one's from 1994. Isn't that a nice little design over there? I love these proof-like finishes. And over here, we have a COA that says it's number 613 out of 20,000. It's 90% silver and weighs 22.2 grams. Now at the time of filming, that's worth about $11.50 in silver, but if you look on eBay, most of these have sold for 25 or 30 bucks a piece, so that's really, really nice. All right, next up is this African Lion from 1968. Now, I don't know too much about this coin, except I know that it's a 999 silver round from Mardi Gras. It's actually a Mardi Gras doubloon, and uh, it has this lion on one side, and then on the other side it says, the Zulu King, 1916. Now for anybody that knows a little bit more about this coin, I'd love it if you'd hit me up in the comments below and explain A, what does this 1916 16 date signify, and uh, what exactly are these Mardi Gras doubloons, and uh, what's the significance of this one? Now it did come with this little pamphlet over here, it says Zulu, and it says Zulu, Social Aid and Pleasure Club. Mardi Gras doubloon. Zulu was the first large African-American carnival organization founded in 1909, and it's 999 silver. Now, other than that, I don't know too much, but it is a beautiful coin, and guess what? It is silver. So I looked online, and I saw that it sells for about 25 to 30 bucks, which I am certainly very happy with, and it does have about $17.50 worth of silver in it. Not too shabby. Next up, we have this teeny tiny little coin. It is a 50 penia coin from 1914. Believe it's a Finnish coin, and I looked it up online, and actually this does have some value to it. This particular coin, in this condition, goes for about $10, which is about 10 times its silver value. Uh, the silver value is a little over a dollar. I mean, it is really small. You can compare it to that Zulu coin over here, and uh, you can see that it is teeny and tiny, but not too bad for 10 bucks, right? 
All right, now you've all been waiting for. You've all been wondering what on earth did I do getting these little toy cars? Totally not my usual thing, totally out of my wheelhouse. But the important lesson to learn here is that when an opportunity comes, you need to take it. Now this guy brought a bunch of other things in addition to the coins, though this is all the only thing that I bought. What drew me to this is the fact that I know that old vintage die cast cars are worth something but they're worth a lot if they have the original boxes. I mean, these boxes are made out of paper and these come from the 50s or 60s. So for this to survive in this condition is really, really rare. So of course these are gonna be worth some money. Now, in the end, I ended up paying him $15 for each of these two and 10 bucks for this one. Now what they are is these are made in England. They're collectible die cast cars. These two are both the same, this one and this one. They're both Corvette Stingrays, both silver. They do have a red one that's worth a little bit more. And this one here is a Ferrari Berlinetta. Now, these two are worth a lot more. These two are worth between $50 and $100 each. I mean, that is fantastic. It really depends on when it sells, but these are worth each potentially 100 bucks. This one is worth more around 50, but it's still fantastic. I mean, look at these cars. You can understand why collectors like them. I mean, they've got rubber wheels, they have really nice clear plastic, a lot of detail. I mean, can you see that? These have spinning headlights. Look at that, with little crystals inside. This is a really, really, really nice collectible. You can see under here, Corgi Toys, Chevrolet Corvette Stingray, made in Britain. Over here, instead of the working headlights, it actually has a trunk that opens up. Pretty nice. So I bet you all are wondering how much I paid for all this. So for everything you see here, I paid just $62. Now think about that. I spent 20 minutes in the parking lot of a supermarket, shelled out just $62, and walked away with $250 to $350 in value. That is not a bad day's work. Well, I wish it was a full day's work. Imagine if I could do this between nine and five every single day, eight hours a day, and multiply that, well, I'm not gonna go crazy and think about that, but it would be awesome. Anyway, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out, it helps me grow the channel, it helps me continue to deliver amazing content for you guys. So if you haven't already, give it a thumbs up also, and stay tuned for more great content from me. So until next time, guys, Silver Picker out.